heartbreaking news coming in from Paris. Vinesh Fogart will not get a joint silver medal. No joint silver medal for Vinesh Fogart. The CAS, uh, the Court of Arbitration for Sports, uh, has given out a crisp statement saying Vinesh's application for the medal at CAS stands dismissed. India Today accesses the CAS order dismissing plea. The IOA has expressed shock and disappointment at the decision. PT Usha says we stand in full support of Vinesh. PT Usha also suggesting exploring further legal options. IOA has asked for deeper examination of the issues, stringent and inhuman regulations is what the IOA says. But I would reckon for all of us who were rooting for Vinesh to get that joy in silver, we'll need to make our peace with the fact that the road at least for a joint silver ends right here. Joining me is uh, Nikhil Nas uh, from the newsroom. Nikhil, what more can you add? Well, Preeti, I mean, uh, I've just uh, looked at the communication that has come from Court of Arbitration for Sports and they haven't really given us a detailed verdict as at the moment, it's just an interim order that has come in which they've made it very clear that the appeal is dismissed. We'll, of course, await the detailed order where we'll get to know what are the reasons and what are the things that they looked at. But clearly, I mean, looking at the case and following it for the last few days, you know that they've gone by the rules. They've, uh, you know, followed the rules that were put in place by the UWW. Of course, there were arguments made from the Indian side that were over and above the rules. And they said that, uh, you know, uh, forcing an athlete to go through uh, certain things that they had to to ensure that they are within the weight limit. Uh, that is something that needs to be looked at. But but those arguments is not something that the Court of Arbitration for Sports has gone by. Uh, we've, of course, got a statement from uh, the Indian Olympic Association. They say that they'll continue to stand by her. Uh, they also point out the fact that this will have uh, grave repercussions for the sport per se, not just for wrestling, but other sports where, you know, weight management is needed where there are weight categories because athletes will continue to uh, have such methods in which uh, inhuman methods as, as is being pointed out in which they have to ensure that they're within the stipulated weight category so those are the things the human angle is what they are looking at and this is something that we put forward in India today as well during our reportage Preeti that the human angle is what they were looking at possible possible that when the detailed verdict does come that they may be looking at uh, you know the sport in the future and whether they will allow some sort of alliance going forward in terms of having slightly overweight than the stipulated weight category but till we get the detailed verdict from code of arbitration for sport it's really tough to say that what are the factors that they considered before dismissing Vinish's uh, appeal you know IOA also says Nikhil that they're going to look at uh, any other legal uh, aspects that they can explore right now but I think one needs to now accept that this is possibly the end of it Right, Preeti. I mean, you can. Of course, there's always a legal recourse. You can approach the Swiss courts, but uh, uh, we've seen it in the past that uh, seldom do they overturn a verdict that has been done uh, by the Court of Arbitration for Sport, which is, uh, you know, a specialist of sorts in this field. So we've seen the Swiss courts rarely ever overturn that. So, yes, there is that recourse. That may still take a long time. Would the IOA want to explore that option? We still do not know because I'm just taking you back in terms of how this thing actually panned out. To begin with, it was just the athlete in Vinish Fogat that uh, approached the Court of Arbitration for Sports uh, using the four pro bono lawyers that they had. Uh, IOA only joined in later as the interested party. Would they want to continue and take this matter forward? I mean, we'll, we'll have to wait and watch. But uh, as I said, that going back by the past precedent, nothing much could come out of that. Well, nothing much would come out of it. Nikhil, stay with us. Let's bring in Rahul Mehra, who's fighting Vinesh's case back in India. Uh, a different case, uh, Albert. But uh, Rahul Mehra, you know, this was something which we were expecting. You know, one was tempted to throw out the rule book, but ultimately the CAS has gone by the rules. Yes, Preeti, uh, this was uh, what was on the cards uh, right from the beginning. Uh, it was uh, a Herculean uh, task. Uh, it was something which was almost unachievable. But then one just thought that, uh, you know, Vinesh did take the right uh, approach, uh, did take uh, recourse to legal option. Unfortunately, all of India has failed her. Uh, every single institution has failed her. Uh, the IOA, which uh, seems to be the champion of all uh, uh, events, uh, you know, which are conducted by International Olympic Committee, including Olympic Asian Games and uh, Congress Games, uh, uh, through them, the entire representation of India goes, and the ministry clears every name. Uh, 
uh, ministry was found uh, found napping. IUA was found napping. Uh, the IUA officials were busy uh, politicking, partying, and doing whatever else out there. They uh, didn't get lend a uh, shoulder, you know, a shoulder to cry uh, on for Ganesh. They didn't support her when she needed the support when she was mentally distraught, uh, completely drained out, didn't know what to do, and yet she had the presence of mind to uh, hire four French pro, pro bono lawyers. Where were all the uh, people uh, who used to support her or would have would would, would have should have support supported her? You know, where were all the institutions? Where was that uh, suspended uh, Wrestling Federation of India uh, president Sanjay Singh, a proxy of Red Bush and Sharan Singh, who uh, was in Paris giving uh, bites very happily over uh, camera to all journalists, uh, saying that she has been disqualified and we do whatever it takes. Uh, what did he do? Uh, and what was he doing there in the first place? So right. there are a lot of questions, Preeti. Um, I think a lot of introspection needs to be done. Otherwise, you know, let's just uh, forget playing in Olympics. And forget, uh, why should 140 crore people be put to uh, such kind of uh, uh, shame? Uh, you okay. know, uh, look at Romania, look at India, uh, uh, America, look at other countries. They, they, they back their athletes. They, they completely support their athletes. Right. And where are we? You know, wanna... we want to be hosting okay. the 2036 Olympic Games and we can't even support our own player. Forget right. about uh, hosting the Games. I you mean, know, I just want to, I want to, I just have a minute and I want to bring in Nikhil Nas back into this conversation. And Nikhil, the question now is, Vinesh uh, has been in Paris. She's been hoping that she gets that joint silver. That hasn't quite happened. Tomorrow you'll have the Prime Minister, you know, felicitating all, uh, you know, facilita uh, felicitating all uh, the Olympians. She's going to be missing from that picture. When does she return? Well, what we're getting to hear now is, Preeti, that she's returning on the 17th morning. Uh, so probably she had uh, scheduled her return flight uh, based on, uh, you know, that other deadline that they had set earlier of 16th, 6 p.m. Paris time. And so probably she thought after that verdict is out, she will be coming back on the 17th. That's the last information we got two hours ago that 17th is when she's getting to India. But now that, uh, you know, the verdict has come well before that deadline of 16th, we do not know whether she'll change her plans and get here a bit earlier. But 17th, as of now, we are expecting her to be reaching India. All right, so 17th was the time when she's going to be reaching India. Will she reschedule her flight? We'll keep you updated. Thank you, Nikhil, for joining us uh, there, uh, getting us, sadly, this heartbreaking news that has come in from Paris. Heartbreak for Vinesh and possibly a billion Indian hearts there. But that is the beauty of sports. Sometimes you've just got to take it on the chin. The silver lining to Vinesh's Olympic storm denied, but what a storm she brewed in Olympics. Hats off to that.